Hello everybody and welcome back. Today let's take a short route down memory lane and try to remember what got you or me started on computing. I started computing in about 1981 I suppose when I got a 6502 board computer. It couldn't do a lot of things. It basically had a number pad and that was about it. In early 1983 I got a VIC-20 and when I bought this book the programmer's reference guide for the VIC-20 everything changed for me because I learned how to program a real computer that had a real TV interface, a real keyboard. Um, I had the tape drive and it was great. You could even use the expansion port to turn on stuff and turn and control things. You had the timer so you could make music. It was great. Also, this book taught me how to do machine language in a way that I didn't know before because there was so much extra hardware in, in, this, in this computer that could be controlled that I never knew from because the 6502 board computer just didn't have that. And I want to bring some of that back. And that is the intro for this video and for my next project, which will be to build a home computer-like device. And I'm actually saying home computer-like because I'm not going to reinvent the home computer because that is just too big of a project for me. But what I'm planning to do, and you can already see most of it around here, is I want to make a device that you can plug in that is going to have a video interface that will have inputs and outputs that you can control directly from that computer. It will have a basic interpreter and this basic will be able to control it and modify stuff and I think it should run at a reasonable speed. As I said, I'm not going to reinvent the computer, so I went out and looked for microcontrollers that I could use and I came up with this combination. I will be having a TNZ 3.5 as the main CPU, which will also generate video. I will have an Arduino Nano, which will uh, do the keyboard interface and which will have a printer port attached to it with 13 freely programmable and, uh, and input-output lines. And it will have a Teensy 3.2 as a music and MIDI device. Now, from a point of software, the VGA generation will be done by the UVGA library on the Teensy 3.5. I've already uh, tried that out and tested it. Um, on this board, I can't turn it around right now, there is a, uh, what is it called? Um, a resistor-based uh, output driver, which does the colors and which gives horizontal and vertical sync. The video generation is done through the DMA engine of the microprocessor and it takes very little CPU. On the Arduino, there's a piece of software uh, making sure that you have the right keyboard layout. Um, I'm doing this because it is a lot easier to refresh the Ar reflash the Arduino uh, for US, German, French, UK, whatever keyboard, and it's a lot easier to change that. And uh, for the for the music chip, I think. Um, I will be going with the TNZ Reset or any other type of library to do the sound. That's it where I'm right now. Um, this board is actually working right now. You can you can see that I've got text input. Uh, if I if I press the keys and it scrolls, so 
everything that I have here is, is already proven. I've already started a uh, repo which has the which has the license and nothing but that. I've created a layout and a schematic on Easy EDA which has the uh, hardware. Um, I'll be putting all these links in the description of the video but take care right now it is severely broken. It's broken because I made some small mistakes but it's also broken because the Easy EDA library has some shortcomings. Uh, mostly in uh, the 9 pin sub D connectors uh, which don't have correct pin assignments and I have to fix that somehow or get them to fix it. But I'm going to make sure that this works. I also ordered a set of um, PCBs. I made one that is very simple which just has a few connections which is still missing the drivers and I hope that those are going to come in next week and by the end of the week I should have a set of uh, components to populate those boards and before that I will have to just scavenge whatever I need whatever I can get. So that is the plan for now. Uh, as you can see keyboard input is working. Um, video output is working too. Uh, the TNZ 3.5 is running at 120 megahertz which is a lot so I think even if this can run its own basic it might even be able to emulate say a Commodore 64 or a Commodore VIC-20 or a PET or whatever um, and programming it is going to be really simple because each and every one has its own firmware there will be one for the uh, main CPU, there will be one for the I.O. processor, and there will be one for the music chip. Um, all the ch chips are linked with uh, I.O. lines. Um, serial, so the TNZ is talking to the Arduino at 150 kilobaud, and the two Arduinos are talking at 250 kilobaud. That is pretty much fast enough for music and simple things and oh I forgot the second TNZ is going to have a front-facing SD card adapter attached to it uh, I'm choosing that because it will be possible to have the TNZ use uh, the SD card to play music or to get music from while the CPU is doing something else and when the CPU needs to get files from the SD card it can just request those from the uh, smaller TNZ. And I think that makes a lot of sense. It will be hard to program, I suppose it will be, um, but it's still a lot simpler than using FPGAs or CPLDs or to do the whole hardware um, freshly. Uh, incidentally, the 8-bit guy is uh, building his own PC2 or his own home computer and he's going the entire hardware way and I'm really looking forward to that and I'm really supporting that but this wouldn't have been my way of doing it because I actually want to finish this in a reasonable time frame and I don't have uh, the means to do a Kickstarter or some other sort of campaign to just get so many people together so I thought a purely open source project with uh, sketches on three different microcontrollers would be good too and uh, maybe one platform can act as a development device for the other I don't know let's just wait this out um, yeah this is what I wanted to show you it is basically right now um, giving you video and it's taking keyboard input it's not doing anything else it's just for testing but it's pretty nice and I hope that something can come off of it.
That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.